What's up YouTube, it's your boy Douglas Sam again and today I'll be talking about my Universal Belkin Bluetooth receiver. Now it doesn't say Universal on the, um, the title that you'll see when you buy it, but I, I say it's Universal. But anyway, the model number is F82492-P. Right, and I bought this, uh, I bought this one at Newegg.com. Uh, with free shipping, it was twenty four ninety nine. You probably could find it cheaper on Amazon or eBay, but I mean, at that price, who cares? I just bought it new on Newegg and uh, called it a day. But I like this piece. Um, it's a universal Bluetooth adapter. So now, if you have, if you're looking to add Bluetooth function, uh, you know, functionality um, on your receiver, your your radio boombox. Um, what else can I think of? Or anything with um, RCA inputs, um, you know, that you could add a Blu-ray player to or a CD player to, anything like that. This is your guy. It works like a charm. It's very it's plug and play, basically. And um, I noticed in the description it says for iPhones and all that, like Belkin is a part of Apple. This thing is universal. I've used it on my Android devices. I've used it on my Apple devices. I use it on my Windows devices. So why Belkin is limiting themselves to iPhone, I have no idea. But anyway, it comes with, oh, well actually, let me rotate it around. And let you see that. Yeah, those are your inputs right there. That's the plug comes with it. It's plugged in so I won't show you that but the plug goes there and the, and the other hole to the left of that is 3.5 it's a 3.5 input right there okay and so it comes with it does come with a 3.5 to RCA right there I think those are mono I, I replace them anyway because these are about I think 8 feet or 6 feet I just bought a 12 footer and the reason why I did that guys is because when you're dealing with Bluetooth, line of sight is important. So I'm having mine in, in my closet, my kitchen closet door behind there. Um, so line of sight is very important. So I want to be able to move it around, you know, to a perfect location um, to get it. I've tried it now. I put it in my kitchen and I've went in my backyard. I've went in my front yard. It's worked. So, um, but Linus, you know, sometimes it'll get choppy if I move here or there. So I'll play around probably, you know, next weekend with it in different spots in my closet or maybe even outside my closet because that's where I got the 12 foot cord um, to just to see where the best place is. But so far, I'm totally impressed with its uh, performance. I don't have to use the 12 foot wire, but since, and this is where, this is the wire here. Um, I got it. I got it uh, on eBay for two dollars and fifty cents. So why not? You know, two dollars and fifty cents free shipping. Anyway, so yeah. So what I'm going to do for you guys today is demo it. Of course, I'm going to show you where I'm going to put it in back of my kitchen receiver, just to give you a visual as well. Um, but again, before we even get into that, guys, if you're looking to, again, if you're looking to add Bluetooth to your device, pre uh, preferably a receiver or a, a, a boom box or some form of radio, I don't know if this would work for a TV, though, would it? Because TVs have inputs. Hmm. May have to do a part two on that, but that would be cool. I don't see why not. Even like a clock radio. You know what I mean? Some some clock radios you might have like a jazzy, you know, upscale clock radio and they'll have an RCA input. You plug that bad boy into there and usually like that would be like an aux input, you know, and you turn it to aux and, and then now you're playing your uh, Bluetooth material from your either your phone, your tab, your pad, your whatever. All right. So let's go ahead and go to the back of my receiver. Um, to give you the visual and we'll also demo how it works in one second All right guys, I'm back and right there is my kitchen closet door It's kind of like my uh, sound system for the kitchen and uh, backyard area slash my mop and uh, broom area <laughs> slash 
uh, blank media storage. So, of course, it's going to be a little crazy in there. That's fine. It is what it is. So, see? It's pretty bad. So, oh, yeah, I got a desktop in there. Going to my TV in the kitchen. But let's get a little closer anyway. I have my receiver turned around. Um, yeah, let, me get, let me get a little closer. Sorry about that, guys. Zoom in. If we can do that. Now you guys are familiar uh, with that. You see that in the back? You see all those red and whites? That's basically what you can hook your bel Belkin to. So if you have those in inputs that you see in back of your device or front of it or wherever, then we're in business. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 12 foot wire, the RCA part, I'm actually going to hook it up to the CD input in my receiver. Now, you don't have to follow me. You could do it to any input on your receiver. Whether I would prefer it be aux, because um, that just makes it easy. Um, but, you know, it could be DVD, CD, um, tape deck, you know, whatever. Whatever. Whatever you want. Blu-ray. Whatever is in back of your, whatever input has the RCA in you're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in and I'll show you in one second. Okay guys, if you look uh, to the left of the back of my receiver under that gray um, plug, um, that's where I hooked up my RCA. Okay, so it's hooked up to the back of my receiver under CD, but of course for you, it could be any input that you want. So, let's go ahead and plug, get plugged into Belkin device, which is here. All right. So, I'm going to plug in the plug for power, like so. Then, I'm going to plug in the 3.5. And there we have it. So now, all right, so this is what it looks like. Just like that, simple. So now I'm gonna turn around my receiver and we're gonna start to demo it. All right, guys, we're back. And um, as you can see, well, probably the lighting's bad, but I turn my receiver around and the, um, the Belkin device is right here. You probably can't see it, but let me go ahead and turn on my receiver with my remote, right? And remember, guys, I have it hooked up to my um, CD input, so let me go ahead and change it to CD. Oh, that's my XM radio. Let me zoom in a little bit. Have the volume down because I don't want any copyright issues. All right. Now. Is now we're going to be using my um, my Samsung S3 um, by Sprint to uh, we're going to be using the Bluetooth on it um, just to just to do it. So let's see here. Let me zoom out because my phone is like I don't know if you can see it. You probably I don't know if you can, but I'm just going to show you anyway. So. I go to my settings. I don't know why it's showing like that, but turn my Bluetooth on, show better. Well, you see Bluetooth. Turn it on. And now that it's on, I go to my settings alright Bluetooth available click that Belkin HO3 is what it is and I click it when it turns blue then we're in business oh we're in business okay so it's paired just that easy 
If it didn't, sometimes you might have to hit scan there to scan other devices, but there we go. All right, so let me show you the Belkin piece because uh, Belkin piece also well, should show like a blue light, which you see here. See? So we're ready to go. That's, that's pretty much it. Um, and now, just to show you, now look at the uh, jog wheel of my receiver. I'm going to turn it up. Turn up the, oh no, that's not turning up. I'm turn up the volume. Right? Okay. And now, get my, this is my, right there. I just put any song because. See? That's pretty much it guys, um, and thanks for looking at the review, and um, oh, also, I wanted to let you guys know, uh, well, let me change the scenery. Most importantly guys, I forgot to tell you, and I'm so sorry, I should have told you this in, in the beginning. Um, this Belkin device is only for, for your music, only for audio. Um, it has nothing to do with, I know with some Bluetooth devices, enabled devices, meaning it had Bluetooth on it already, whether it be a receiver in your car, receiver, home receiver, whatever, you can, um, you can listen to your phone calls through it. Like you can go, you know, it, it will emulate like a, a Bluetooth headset or something. This is not it. That, this does not do that. So the answer to that question would be no if anyone had a question on that. It only plays your audio. Meaning, and it literally does, audio from your from YouTube, audio from Netflix, audio from Hulu Plus, audio, audio from your media player, anything that plays audio, um, it does it. But unfortunately, I, well, you can say your telephone calls are, is audio, but it just doesn't do that. Just media audio. So Netflix, Hulu, all that stuff, YouTube can come out of your stuff your 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 uh your bluetooth receiver or whatever um wherever you got it hooked up to well let me just show you real quick and actually i got sirius xm let me see let me see if i can get that queued up here so i could show you where is that here okay so i'll show you it might be a little awkward all right so up top there is sirius xm and i'll hit that and I'll hit, well, it already came on. You see, you heard a little stutter, depending. Sometimes it does that. So the speak, my speaker's right up there, see? The Bluetooth device is in the closet, the door is closed. All right, so I'll do this live for you. All right, so I'll come out of that, exit. So I exit that, see it stop. I'm gonna go into YouTube. Go right into YouTube. I'm gonna go into my channel. What's my latest video uh, about HDMI cable? Let's go there. It's taking long enough to load. But I'm just gonna show you. I'll just show you one of YouTube is your boy. See? Listen. 
And I'm um, here today. See? Oh, look at that. See? Oh, no, it's my phone is buffering. It has nothing to do with the Bluetooth. My phone's the Wi Fi is acting whack. I'll give it five more seconds. If it doesn't come on, then I'll just. Talk about uh, HDMI cable. I bought a monster yeah. cable uh, from uh, eBay. Actually, they sell it on Amazon as well. I'll, I'll put the link in the description. All right. See, come out of that. See, it stopped. So that is awesome. All right. So I'm already at 15 minutes. All right. I'll do one other thing just to give you guys a visual. And guys, the reason why I do these videos is because I buy stuff. When I buy stuff for myself, I always go on YouTube, I go on Amazon and read the reviews. And sometimes the reviews suck, uh, or sometimes the YouTube videos suck, even though mine may suck. But um, I try and give insight to help you guys make an informed decision or put you on to something that you didn't even know about. Um, and especially if it's inexpensive, such as this, uh, to add value to your everyday life. I'm gonna go into overtime now and show you how you can really enjoy this. One moment. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna poke my chest out. I'm gonna actually walk outside and turn on one of the songs I played previously, just to give you a sense of range. Well, it's not really a sense of range because you don't know how far I'm going out there, but I'm gonna go outside and let's see what happens. to show you that okay and one last thing I'm gonna show you let's go outside all right well I'm outside now it's kind of windy out here you'll probably hear that but let's say you're outside and you want to watch your favorite YouTube videos or Netflix you and your lady got your tab or your pad your iPad 3 or whatever you guys want to just kick back on your deck and watch a movie through your speakers outside well with this little $25 device you can do that and just to show you real quick I'm gonna play the same song again see uh oh see now I'm outside I'm way in my backyard but that's good it shows you that it can mess up now I would advise you to kind of keep your phone in one place. I wouldn't advise you to walk around with this while it's playing. I would keep it in a place. So cell phones, if you're one of those people that are always on your cell phone, I wouldn't recommend it. All right, I'm gonna go on YouTube one last time in one of my videos and uh, we'll try that out and then close this video. All right, let's see. Let's go to this one here. Feel low. Oh, okay. Seven, I'm back again with another video. This one's a little different. See, it just depends on how you hold it. I'm asking you a question. Um, All right, it's buffering my phone. But you get the point. So when you're doing this, just I would advise you to keep your phone um, you know just at one level just keep it like on your lap or on the floor don't move it around like I'm doing now it could cause stuttering but anyway I just wanted to give you guys some examples of how this can benefit you and add value to your everyday life and home or apartment experience anyway it's your boy Douglas Sam remember to subscribe hit like if you like it and of course as always I'll be doing more videos on you know random electronics that I got I do this for you guys and uh Thanks for your, all your support. Later.